This is the Shui CTS 3300V, it's a specially dedicated version of the uh, unit for veterinary use. It has two ports on the side for probes, so you can use uh, two probes at any one go. Uh, the probe that I have today is a linear endorectal probe, and it varies f frequency from 5 up to 10 megahertz. So you're doing reproductive work in cattle, you use it at 5, and you want to do tendon scanning in equine, you would use it at 10. The way to vary the frequency of the probe is just by pressing the frequency button here on the keyboard, and it's at 7.5 at the moment, so you just press the button, and it goes up to 8.5, then 10 megahertz, and to back down to 5 megahertz, and so it's a toggle switch. The other features that you have on it are that the unit can ha has BB mode, which means that you can compare two images. You just press the button for B, B, and you have the two images, so you can actually freeze one image while you're having a comparison with the live image. So you can go back to B mode. You also have the facility that if you want to, you can actually store the images on a cine loop. Very simple to do, you just press freeze button and then you press cine and you can see without me touching the probe that it's actually trawling back through the last number of frames. I think it's 60 frames that it goes through. So to get out of that you just again press the freeze button and you're back to the live image. If you need to annotate on the image, you just press the annotate button. It's telling me to press the freeze key first, which you do. Press the annotate button and you can then key in whatever information that you want regarding that particular image. So you can save the annotation with the actual when you save the cine loop, for example. So, if you need to recall the image, that's very easily done also, in that you can just go into the recall um, uh, image and it will bring you back to, uh, it will retrieve the image for you. So, we can just see here also there is a measurement function and you can see that maybe see the cursor flashing on the screen there so you just press enter when the cursor comes on and then move your trackball and it will give you distance when you press enter it will give you the distance here on the right hand side which is 23 millimeters so we'll get out of that we so if we clear the annotation that we had on it and if you want to do an area measurement you again press freeze just press area button here you'll see the cursor will be flashing so you can then press enter and you can scan whatever it is if it's a tendon and you see where you bring the cursor and this here is the distance that is actually measured so you'll be able to scan tendons quite happily on it. So I get out of that. Uh, you also have the ability to use the positive or negative. So we can just change over here to negative. There you can uh, save images, still images, and now if I want to go back and retrieve the the cine image that I made a few minutes ago, I can just go to freeze and recall. Recall. And what it's asking me here is whether I want to recall from the local disk which is the internal memory of the machine 
or a USB which you can plug into the back of the unit. So just for the benefit of this exercise we'll have it on the local disk. So again I'll just leave the probe here. Uh, we press enter and it's image number one. We press it and we should have the image appearing back on screen. That's it there, that's the image that we actually uh, saved. So that's pretty much all that I can show you from this.